Does your rearview mirror vibrate and wobble like this? I have found that the most common cause for this issue is that the screw that holds the mirror in place can become stripped, making it difficult to screw the mirror on tight enough. Today, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the mirror and put it back together with a new screw so that it feels just like new. If your rear view mirror is loose enough, you may just be able to wiggle it off like this. If not, use a number one Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the bolt holding the mirror in place. With the mirror removed, you can now completely remove the bolt. The mirror will separate into five pieces as I've shown here. From the right, you have the hook plate, the spring, the toothed washer, and finally the bolt. My windshield was replaced and the tech who reinstalled the rearview mirror likely used a Phillips head screwdriver that was too large for my bolt. On the left you can see my brand new bolt and on the right you can see my stripped old bolt. Seat the hook plate onto the bottom of the rearview mirror. It will only fit one way. Then fit the spring on top. Then fit the tooth washer on top of the spring and be sure to slip the washer around the hook from the hook plate. Lastly, install the new bolt. Take note that the bolt is reverse threaded, so you'll need to turn counterclockwise to tighten it. Tighten the bolt so there is some room between the toothed washer and the base of the mirror for it to fit onto the mount attached to the windshield. Slip the rear view mirror onto the mount like so and secure it by tightening the bolt using a number one Phillips head screwdriver. If you use anything bigger, you risk stripping the bolt. Try to get it as tight as possible. Finally, enjoy your now functional rear view mirror. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for any DIY you'd like to see in the future.